is the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. Right? But you say, all right, JD, for me, a oh, girl well fit. Girl well fit. Right? But the Friday, when we did the physical, they wake you up early. Jesus speaks. They wake you up 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock in the morning. Them, them say, give it 10 push up on your knuckles. Good girl, I do push up pad knuckles. I don't know what I find. Straight me, I do push up pad knuckles. Mm -hmm. My clothes were soaking wet with um with mud. I, mean, I don't know if YouTube I will beep this out or I should beep it out, but even my underwear was muddy. channel where truth meets purpose over here it's all about you know lifestyle videos educational videos um, and basically every and anything so welcome to my channel thank you so so much for my 1,000 subscribers if you're new here please subscribe to my channel because you do cost a dollar it doesn't cost you to subscribe over here everything is super yes over here everything is super 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 so as you can see from the title down below I will be talking about my experience in um, applying for the JDF the Jamaica Defense Force and that is a commission officer so I applied for JDF to become a commission officer so I'm going to talk about the process, about how the physical went, about how to apply um, and anything that, that I can remember. Um, it was a wonderful experience, even though it ended badly, it ended badly, um, yeah. But yeah, let's get right into the video. So the Jamaica Defense Force, um, they have a commission officer position and you normally see this on Instagram where they send out um, we need commission officer and basically what you need to do is what what is required um, to become a, to become a commission officer is that you need two units of CAPE or you need your degree right the commission officer is not a regular soldier but one of like a captain we have a they have a captain role in the jamaica defense force so you have the regular soldiers i don't remember the name i should remember the name of what they call the regular soldiers but you have the regular soldiers that is it that is one category and then you have the commission officer that is the other category i send him my resume and then i got a call um it took about to be honest, it was long. So I think because I called, that is why um, it actually <laughs> went so fast. Two to three months to get a call, and they called me to come in. Um, they called me to come in on a uh, Friday, so I got called to come in on Friday. And uh, when I went in on the Friday, it was like an interview, and I did a test the Friday, right? So when I went there, they put you in a room together um, with all the potential officers. So yes, I was a potential officer. So they put you in the room and they will discuss um, the benefits of being a part of JDF, especially being a commission officer. Because a commission officer, they don't, they don't train in Jamaica. They actually train in like the US or China, you know, those stuff and they were telling us about the benefits. and. They put it in a way like I wanted to be a part of it. I like I wanted to be a part of it so much because they like how they describe it. Like they said, no, this is this is basically me. This is where I belong, right? Um. So backtrack. I finished school last November. Yay! 
so you know i was job hunting from like january and then the pandemic came so you know that kind of led things be a little rougher you know it wasn't easy and uh, last year alone 2020 i applied for about 20 jobs and i got calls for about four of them and i didn't get through for any one of them <laughs> Whenever I get through, I was so, um, should I say depressed? I can't say depressed. I was so depressed, yo. I was so depressed because for one, I actually paid almost like 100,000 Jamaican dollars just to get a job last year alone. And then when I get another job there, like, wow. Yes. So, um, the first job I was trying to start out was go to Japan that's a good program you can actually see towards it um, if you're if you finish school and you don't know what to do you can actually go to Japan they have the JET program that's the same Japan program but with the ILDS you have to pay basically a fee but with the JET program Japan educational JET program just type in that um, it's on the Japan Embassy website and with the Japan Embassy sponsors students to go overseas to teach as an assistant teacher, say teach English. So I applied for that first. I didn't get through. I paid about $30,000 for that. And I didn't get through your life for all. And then when I didn't get through, I was like, wow. I didn't even call him to say, hello, I paid all my money. What happened? I just, I just left it as it is. Them tea. I don't know how, I don't know, I fit all the requirements, so I don't know if, if it was because I was kind of busy and I submitted the application, the document late, which that doesn't have anything to do with it, I'm paying for my service, but yeah, I never get through, and so I was still job hunting, and then I got a call, that call to go to the Jamaica Defense Force, as a commission officer that I applied for, and I'm like, what? Gotta show me one side, you know? I was like, and then they were talking about commission officer being a leader, basically being a captain, and I'm like, whoa, that is me, that is my demeanor. And I got when I got called, I went in the Friday and I did an interview. The interview was like with those two officers when they asked me what is the JDF? How what 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 is the purpose of JDF? Um, how JD assist Jamaica to tell me about myself. It was basically a regular interview, interview. Like, oh yeah, it was just regular. And they asked me, even though I studied forensics, um, why, how do I think I can contribute to the JD now, or why I'm straying away from this, from my original um, career, and why I want to join the JD. And then in the evening, I had uh, it was it was an essay, two topics they told us to write about. I think one of them was um, how can the JDF assist Jamaica, basically that. Yes. So and then so the Friday and then with the Friday we had to go there on Monday, the following Monday and the following Tuesday to do some other tests again. So I think the Monday was medical. And the Tuesday was another exam, um, the stoichiometric exam. You know, like when you go in high school and with maths, they give you a little pattern. They give you a shape, like three of them, and you have to predict the next one. Yeah, something of the sort like that. So that was the Monday and Tuesday. I did that. I passed everything Monday, Tuesday. And then I had the physical. The physical, I had to go up at Newcastle. Yo. Oh, I had to go back to Newcastle here until I said the physical. Like, that alone teach me a lot. That alone make me do afraid of rain. Like, it's rough. It's rough. Like, I kid you not. Then it's all rough. Alright, them call it the selection board, right? They call it the selection board. Like, how oh, them deal with it? They must say, one, you know. 
one in a 20 persons pass the selection board to become a commission officer they call it the selection board so one in like 20 persons um, pass the selection board so the physical is basically the hardest part of the process right and i wait to to newcastle for three days well thursday thursday friday I came back the Saturday morning. Take time off. Take time off. Take time off. Take time off. They are making no money for you. So, um, the physical, I went there the Thursday. And the physical, they say, look here, preparations, drink a lot of water. Drink a lot of water. So, we did it. We had drink water and I prepared it. Okay, we had prepared it. So the first day, um, which was a Thursday, we did an exam again. Um, it was a scenario based like, like yeah, you and a team in one helicopter and it crashed and it went in the snow and all of the parts them gone. So how can I, how can you get out of the situation and go to base or report to base, right? How we would, how we would um, come out of that situation. Yeah, so going there, we had to sign a document saying that look here, JDF, no responsible feel if you're dead, whatever, whatever. Them say if you have asthma, you can't be a part of JDF. All of that. So when I went there, um, and I did that test the day, then um, in the yeah, and then in the evening after I did the test, we did a presentation, a speech basically. And me until I say, yo, it's my father in rough. This is them people, eh? Like, I heard about it, so I was like prepared. But me say, when we go there, um, they basically give you the speech. They present it the speech. They give us a word like ball, cat, rat, bat. Like basically just a word and you have to present in three minutes. You have to present in front of them, in front of them, in front of them. In and everything I have to say, yes sir, no sir, yes ma'am, no ma'am, hey, it's been two months and a training here. I'm going to go ahead and visit this place, yes sir, yes ma'am, girl, well man, I say well. So yes, when I got the, um, the speech now, they give me a word, they give me floor. So me I say, because it, it's like, you, do, you don't know the word that you're going to present on. They give us about five seconds to think about what we're going to present on. Mm -hmm. So they give me the word floor. I said everybody get ball, bat, home. So what we gonna present for pan? So I look at just the H A. We don't know what we gonna present for. They don't hear me. My name is Shade Basu, and I'm on the floor. And they say they don't pop up. And then here say the floor is um you feel the earth crust or you feel the the, the um the dirt on the floor and some of the floor have tile. And if you want to elevate yourself, you have to go up the floors and you have the base floor, second floor, third floor, and they must have preaching sister. <laughs> I'm actually revived with the floor and thing and we get ideas. So I'm like, okay. So then the Friday. The Friday is the big day, the physical. The Friday, the physical. Trust me, these are the hard. This, this is actually, I know for myself now, this is the hardest thing I've ever done in my life, right? I started this channel and I started with exercises. So we yes, said, all right, JD, for the me, I'm girl well fit, girl well fit, right? On the Friday, when we did the physical, we wake up early, then we wake up three o'clock, three o'clock in the morning, then we wake up three o'clock, when we wake up trip, I mean, we say, all right, the night before, we drink. The day before, I kid you not, we drink one gallon of water. Trip, and then we wake up, and then we go down to this, this section at the camp. Yo, it's when we go down there, of course, me I see them, if they think they are going to on TV, think they are going to on TV. Some long rope, we see some somewhere for crawl like a monkey bar. You know, we see bull wire and 
dirty water anyways they start with half with um physical when they start with a physical they must have been a girl well fit go in a camp you know so they tell them start with a physical like five minutes five minutes me i say my god no i don't know what something they in a five minutes the way it bad two smuddy two guys say yo them quit yeah man you know more warm up Wow, I am not I'm 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 not i Yes, sir. No, sir. Ho, ho, ha. Let's say the thing. Hey. So that they don't warm up. Them say, all right, you know what time to train. Not train. Do the physical one. Them say, give me 10 push up on your knuckles. Good girl, I do push up on knuckles. I know what we find. Straight me, I do push up on knuckles. Them must say, go pad the monkey bar. We never. That's a lie. Go to the monkey bar, the climb, roll up, get to some climb, roll up, you know, get a climb. Me a climb, roll up, and we go under barbed wire, and it's like dirty water. You have to go on the 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 something with dirty water, and you have to roll. You go in a some in a some tunnel, and you have to crawl through the tunnel and. Run two miles after that with a weight. Ah, oh, trust me, it was it was so hard, so hard. So if you done that day, day, it was legit. It's been a whole day, a whole day doing physical, and that was a training. That was to say if you if that was just a test to say whether or not you fit to become a potential officer. That kind of training. That a way I say if you pass this. You're good to become a potential officer. Ha! <sighs> so the day done with some warm up. And I could feel the rain. I tell you, the way I was swimming, I tell you, the dirty water, and I was in a helmet where I could look real. I would just not have a task. You know, I'm not really going to go in detail. I'm not sure if I want to go in the um, If it's inside my vehicle, I'm not sure what the people did say. <laughs> so I'm not really you have my Instagram, here's my Instagram, so you can just, you know, DM me, right? So when the day, when the day ended, like, we did a warm down, I may tell you the rain, I may tell you the soak, I may tell you the dirty water, we in a dirty water, it smell like pig, like, it smell like pig water, it smell Trust me, and I swallowed it like I kid you not. I swallowed the water. <laughs> I'm not telling like, oh my god, I swallowed the water, I swallowed the dirty water because you have to crawl under the water and the bore wire them, and you have to go up on the monkey bar and climb the arm, um, the roof of them. <sighs> I mean, I say, God, when me I do this for me, I say, me I do it for my family, you know, me I do it. I think me I do it for my family, I say, me I do it. And this is when this is my thing. Me say this me for me for them. I tell we train a foreign and you know them enhancing education. Them care, you know say them things they are my you know. Me love them things. Me love hear them things. Them. So when we had the warm, warm so like my clothes was soaking wet with um with mud. I mean you know if you two are gonna be so tired, I should. Be even my underwear was muddy. Ah, that was a sight. That ah, I will not go. In. Oh. Like that is how the day went. So it's a we are warm down, or you know, poor. I'ma just lie down like this. I'ma lie down. I'ma just look up in the air. I'ma just have the rain just have touch my skin. It just a beat on the dirt then. And you could have seen the dirt them just a just a wash way off of me. And 
and that that was that was the physical. And then next day we'll get out and we'll reach out at the camp and they would call me and say we pass around with the pass. So um the batch that I went with four girls passed and two boys passed. So in all six of us passed out at twenty. And they call us into a room one by one and we got um another interview. Me to say that Sydney and Lang, you know, we got another interview with the head, um, like the commission, the, the chief for the JDF and some other persons on the panel. And you know, we share the interview. We share the interview. I shelled that interview. And I felt like I could have, no, I felt like I felt like I could have done every and anything else in this world. That was actually one of my turning points in, in life. I think that's one of my turning points in life. The process was long, like legit. Over six months, when they are applying for this, I go training, that training, I do the medical, then whatever, whatever. So my past the interview, the final interview, which is whatever, which is the, which is the fine, I thought it was the final thing. When I went there the day, they took me, like the first day, that was basically the final thing that they listed for you to pass. So when I pass it, they say, what thing I'm gonna do? So additional medical and repetitive process. Remember, I know I did medical already, right? The medical I did was screening medical, like HIV, or, you know, the medical screening medical. And if you know the word screening medical or screening, it means basically you look for something that you want or something, you look for something, uh, basically el you eliminate something. So if you're looking for, just say you have HIV. So if you do the screening medical and you have HIV, the preliminary test to say that this person might have HIV, because you know preliminary test means there is a possibility of having it. Or yeah, it's preliminary. It's not. It's not a confirmation, right? So I did that and I passed the, prelim the preliminary test medical, and I did additional medical and uh, vetting process. Then I got a letter. I think it was a month later saying that I didn't get. I didn't get accepted. Selection board, and I have the letter right here. The EB spell my name wrong. Shadi Vassa with two L. I spell my name wrong. Shadi Vassa with two L. I want to write my name. So, so then. Them, them, I went for the letter and the letter says this letter serve as a follow-up to the officers selection board in that you attended over the period of the 16th to the 23rd of a specific month and it says then they said regrettably you did not make the final selection for the enlistment of the Jamaica Defense as an officer. So they say I didn't get through. I didn't get through. And they say I didn't get through for a specific period, which is the, the 16 to the 23, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Anyways, they did, I didn't get through for the period of time, which is the, the, the from the Friday to the next Friday, right? That one week period I didn't get So I'm like, I didn't accept the fact that I, fit and that I failed. So I'm like, I don't understand how did I fail, where did I fail. And you can't believe that they said to me that I could not give that information why I, why I failed. Oh, so I did so the additional medical that I did, I 
happened to the blood test, spinal, um, some spinal tests and, and some of the sort. I did a lot of uh, medical and the medical count to 63 toes, I think 67 toes if I'm not um, wrong. Count to 60 odd toes. Right? Remember, you know, the medical is after all the process of me getting through from the selection board with the final interview with the panel. I did the medical and everything, 60 and toes, and I'm a PA plus additional things like my license somewhere. So, some other little summer, I did have to deal with it. And I didn't get through. So, I'm like, where did I go wrong? Because I paid so much money. So at least give me that, 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 that final comfort you know, where I went wrong. They couldn't tell me that they legit said we cannot tell you that information. And I'm like, what if something happened to me? What if, I, what if it was a medical? What wrong with me that's making it? What if, what if it's a medical and they cannot apply again? And I'm like, okay, no problem. I accept the fact. But why you didn't tell me what happened? Why you didn't tell me where I failed? And basically that, they just stop texting me. I called a lot of times and I cried. Yo, I'm a cry, I'm a cry with my tea. I'm a cry. Remember, you know, last year, you know, last year, last year with Corona, Josie, Jamaica, the world, right? And my peer, because remember now with the, with the Japan thing, so I paid over 100000 is trying to get a job in Jamaica, a, a job, a, 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 a government job, the PS60 and 2004, but could even get an answer of why this actually happened to me. So let me know if you would actually feel depressed. Let me know if you would actually cry off your eyeballs. But I went through, if I did it, um, if an explanation, you know, if, if we never did forget one explanation. I remember some people saying that the worst, you know, the worst. I've seen the worst. I tell you something, we can't exercise. Girl, by the feet, I went to go by the physical. Me are dead. I'm dying. And I still pull through that. I still pull through. I'm still in pass out of 20 other people. I was the only girl that, you know, if I'm a game, one boy, they say, you're yeah, a man or you're a woman. Legit. That was a guy that was part of that was that that was um applying as well. He must say, Yo, ya man or ya woman, cause so me ago on. When we done the two men come third, I was a fourth. But I remember me not tell a lie. And I made a first girl. Plus other boy they behind me. I said, What? Oh me oh all me as a female, if you had done boy in mean, a two mile run. After I do that, that that activity, you know what I had to do as two mile run. Less than I think 20 minutes or 15 minutes, I had to do a two man run. And girl, do that. Yeah, two six pound things I had to run up a hill with in both hands. We are run up the hill, I am get a reach up at the hill, and the girl come was a third again. See if you did you know what? Me tell you say, Yeah. I had so many questions that I were unanswered, right? So, but I know other persons that actually got through and everything, and it's fine. I really like, we're glad for them. But just the whole process was so tedious, and to say that the final, the end result was was like that, you know, no explanation. And why I did this video, and persons will say, Shade, why I talk about this? It's a private matter, and not a private matter this is what most persons are going to apply to so i'm giving you an insight i'm giving you you know what my experience i can only talk about my experience and that is why i'm here talking to you because we need to know these things you know we need to know about a little process or you know what happened and uh, i would advise persons to actually join the army right it's a good thing, you have a lot of benefits. Me tell us the girl did well while on that job there, even right now. But the whole process of how everything went, you know? 
So that was it. I know other person too, but true. And I stood up with a friend, them, yes. I made a lot of connections. And that was an experience to remember. Um, one of the most exciting experiences. Exciting experience, yes. Drastic experience. It's like right now, if it's raining, I don't care. Like, I feel like when we did that, eh? Mwah, mwah, mwah.